What's going on everyone? Today we're going to be bringing you a segment talking about how to fight from a chair, defend yourself from a chair, what if we're getting pushed or pulled out of a chair, and also throwing combative. So a lot of cool stuff going to be in this extra video for you guys and, and the, the next couple videos as well. But first off, how do we sit in a chair? All right, so typically, you know, if you're looking around and just watch people, uh, you know, a lot of times they'll be relaxed, okay? That's how a lot of chairs are designed. But we want to think about Krav Maga. We got to be prepared, all right? In order to have peace, we got to be prepared for war. So what can I do to tactically give myself a little advantage? Now, leaning back, being comfortable, that's great, but, you know, if someone's coming at you or something is to happen, you got to get up quickly, those little half seconds, that second is going to count. So... We want to actually be more leaning forward when we're sitting in a chair. Now, if we are, you know, of course, at a, at a diner and we're in a booth, it's a little bit different. That's why we always try to tell people uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, if you're at a restaurant sitting at a table, a lot easier for you to get up and move around a little bit safer versus being at a booth, especially like active shooter situations, things like that. But when I'm in a, in a freestanding chair like this, I want to slightly be forward. All right, now, you know, I don't have to be right here as I'm eating or anything, but I'm gonna just be slightly forward. I'm gonna stagger my feet a little bit as if I was in a fighting stance. So I'll have one in front, one in back. Now, I know some people that will actually have their um, legs a little bit to the outside of the chair. I'm not a big fan of this one. This isn't comfortable for me, but it may be comfortable for you. So you just kind of see what's, what's more comfortable, either having your feet a little bit wider and on the outside or a little bit closer together and on the inside. But typically when you're sitting, you just get a little bit closer to the end of the chair. This is where we want to be. So if, uh, like I said, for whatever reason, a threat's coming at you and you are in the chair, I want to, of course, get up to my feet as fast as I can. Now, the threat may be present and they're right there and I got to do something from here. And that's what we're going to be talking about in this segment and, and throwing combative. So I'm going to bring in Jesse. I'm going to change the angle of the chair a little bit. So uh, let's go ahead and get the tombstone pad first. All right. So when we're in the chair, once again, okay, we're, we're sitting here. Threat is present. Maybe I, I'm having to throw a preemptive strike, or maybe I see them coming at me and, and throwing something. I may do a def uh, uh, some type of defense, like a cover, a 360 block, and then throw my combatives. But for this one, we're just going to talk about you're throwing the combatives. So our combatives can be anything uh, that we know, any upper body strikes. So the punches, palm strikes, hammer fists, elbows. The main thing is how do we explode out of here? So there's two options. One is using... Um, just our legs or another is putting a hand down so just using our legs first that's going to be the one that we practice i'm going to explode up and we're just going to do upper body strikes i'm going to be aiming for his face right now and then we will talk about uh, going lower as well uh, with kicks or, or striking uh, to the groin area and, and using like a ridge hand or something so from here pushing off just if i was doing an advancing punch coming up and i'm striking now i could easily follow it up with other strikes afterwards <laughs> okay here and then disengage if I need to. But the most important thing is not getting caught up in the chair as I do this. So that's why you never want to have both feet in. Because if I do that and I explode, I may get tripped up for a second. So if my feet are on the outside, I'm gonna be clear to come in and throw a strike from there. All right, so again, we're just kind of staggering, exploding up. If I wanna mix it up, like I said, and throw hammer fists or come in, throw a big elbow, that's going to be acceptable too. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go back and forth a couple times. We'll call out the combative. He's then going to throw it. He'll call out a combative for me. And if you guys are at home, just kind of follow along. Do the combative that we called out as you explode up. Ready? Punches. All right. We'll switch. All right. Let's do one more each. Hammer fist. Good. Elbow. All right, and time. So that is just exploding up with using only our legs. Now another option is using our hand to help explode us up. So in this one, what I would do, this one's gonna be just a little bit quicker, but you have to think I'm putting one hand down, I'm sacrificing a hand to be a little bit faster. So I'm pushing off to come up versus just using my legs here. So in this one, I like to use my non-dominant hand so that way I can hit with the dominant hand as I get up. 
So I'd be, I'm gonna show you guys this from this angle so you can see. Placing the hand down more so, not on the side of the chair, because as I get up, it may fall, but bringing it back just a little bit behind you so you're more in the center, slightly off center. But as I get up, I have that balance and I'm able to drive forward and hit with the combative. So like I said, I'm gonna be using my other hand though. That way I can hit with my dominant one. So he calls something. Punch. Okay, here. And then I follow it up. We'll switch, you can go ahead and do one. So he's just putting one hand back. Ready, palm strikes. Good. And time. Now, what if we were to go low with our strikes? Maybe I don't wanna to hit to the face. Maybe I just wanna to hit to the groin. I could very easily change my angle. Okay, coming up like an upward palm strike. You can do ridge hand, mouth of hand. So I'd just be striking to the groin. I'm here and I'm hitting. It would just all depend on the, the, the distance right now. How close are they to you? So maybe he's up in my face. Okay, I'm right here, I'm being pushed. I still wanna to try to get up because I don't wanna fight from right here. It's not gonna be fun. I wanna hit and try to get up and, and become the aggressor and move from there and drive him back. So another thing that we can do is as I get up, he's a little closer, as I'm throwing those shots to the groin, I start to cross face until I'm able to get up and I put my weight on him here, striking. And then I can start throwing upper body strikes or hitting to the face. Okay, so we'll go ahead and switch. So we're really close and we're getting up from there, striking. Okay, switch. and time. So that is using our arms and exploding up from the chair, but let's talk about another one. We'll go ahead and exchange the pad for the kicking shield. Using our legs and, our, and, and kicking from here. So on this one, it could be very similar to a defensive front kick. I see him charging at me, I'm coming up and I'm kicking. So I have, once again, a couple options. I can put both hands down to support me as he comes in and I kick or I could put one hand and keep one on offense, one on defense. Now, in this situation, me personally, I, use, I prefer to stabilize the chair more so than having one up, one down. And as he comes in kicking here, I just don't feel as stable. So I like to use both hands, grabbing near the top and the bottom, securing both sides, kick, boom, and I strike. Can I very well put one down and kick and keep that other hand up? Absolutely. So that is one of those preference things. But you're gonna find that this one, you're gonna stabilize it a little bit, but you are sacrificing uh, your hand up for defense versus here and using the hand on defense. So it's really one of those things. So we're just gonna go back and forth. He'll come towards me, I see it coming, I'm striking. If I wanted to, as he comes in, I kick. I have two options from here. If I knock him back, I could get up and use the chair and kind of use it as a weapon or get up and just keep it there and disengage. Or I could follow up, throw that kick, get up, and start coming towards him as well. Just depends on what I'm wanting to do. All right, so here we go. We'll kind of just show a couple of these, both variations. Person's coming in. Okay, all right, one more time. Go backwards this time, boom. Good, switch. I'll do follow-ups on this one. So I see him coming in here. Okay, making sure those hips come up. Striking. Or kicking here, bringing that chair out. Always a fun little option. Striking with the chair if I need to. All right, so that is just uh, the basics of how to sit, how to explode up using our combatives as we do it, trying to get that timing down. So as soon as that front foot's hitting, that's when I'm striking, stabilizing the chair, making sure we throw that kick. Can you throw a groin kick from here? Yeah, but once again, we're talking about leaning backwards, but that front kick will, will give you that distance. But hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out this next one. We're gonna be talking about self-defense.